Watch TY38. <laughs> Alright, y'all. We are uh, headed to the first appointment. New customer. Only car today, man. No big deal. Once again, like I tell you, a lot of my customers are on their way back home. Uh, so, you know, we still gonna get out here and do what we need to do. Like I try to tell y'all, man. Just being consistent, regardless if it's one, 10, 12 cars, it don't matter. Two cars, six cars. It don't matter, we still gonna do what we need to do to make sure we get the job done sufficiently. But I'm finna pull up at this new customer house, never been here before. Uh, you know, there's a lot of big houses back here. A uh, very rich area where I'm in. It's like one of the richest, it's like one of the richest areas in Nashville. So, um, but yeah, I don't know what the address is. What's the address? 1107, I think it's back here on that corner. But uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna go ahead and pull around, you know, up here in these mountains and stuff, so I gotta be a little bit cautious. Yeah, it's back there on the corner, because it's 1119, it's 1120. Okay, so I'm gonna turn around. That's a nice little house on that hill right there. I like that. Turn around real quick, but yeah, let me get here real quick. And once I get the car out and all that, I'll let y'all know. Look at that little drop down there. I gotta be careful out here. Hey, tail world, detail world, what it do, what it do, what it do. We made it to this first appointment. Like we said, we was literally right here. We just had to turn around. But right now, we're working on this Cadillac Escalade 600. I don't know what that 600 means. I don't, you know, I need to look into that because it's very interesting. They just keep throwing these numbers on these vehicles. But a beautiful car. And like I say, most of these cars nowadays come with rims. It's no longer than plastic hubcaps. So that's another reason to take a little bit longer to do these cars because of the rims getting in there. You know, you look at all those little small areas you got to get into and make sure they clean thoroughly. And then, you know, the exterior of the car with this chrome. I don't have no chrome on this one, but I see you got the black, you got the black uh, strip. But right now, I'm going to get on and get in this interior. If you see, got small marks like this. Uh, like I said, it's plastic and this leather they got in these cars now. It's something cheaper than what they used to use. Um, you see, we're gonna get in these seats. Remember, I always gotta pull back that seat. Like I say, see how they dirt hide? Peekaboo, I see you. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and make sure we clean it real good. Get in here and vacuum this car. Get under the seats. Get on the side of the seats. Make sure you guys get on the side of the seats. Get over here, vacuum these areas. Get in the cup holders real good. See, it got stains and stuff right here, so we're gonna make sure we clean those stains. And then, like I said, got this shiny wood right here, so we're gonna make sure we clean that and come back through with another dry towel to make sure that it's actually clean and won't be all smeary. You can tell she got kids because if you look, it's debris on the seats. Seats are kind of dirty, so we're gonna get in here and clean the seats. You know, we got sticky stuff right here. So this is where the detailers come in because it's, it gets a little meticulous because it's stuff literally everywhere. You look at these little cracks right there, stuff like that. You look all right there. You know, even under the seats, you know, you, got, you get a little dirty. So you gotta make sure you get in here. You look over here in this little area. So seats, third row seating, um, doors, getting in here and cleaning all these pockets thoroughly. You look in there, look how dirty it is in there. So that's why I say when it comes to it, like I said, you can be a car wash, but even within the uh, realms, if you're doing a car wash, you still end up doing some slight detailing. Regardless, they don't want the inside detail, like shampoo and steam, all that, but you just go in here just doing a basic. That's why it will be a little bit more because it's just so much you have to wipe down. Like, look at all this right here. You know, you see it, it's smudgy. Doors got all these flecks and spattles on it. You know, so, you know, just try to make sure that we make the customer super satisfied and also make sure that we don't overwork ourselves and undercharge ourselves. The exterior of the car, really not that bad. You know, a lot of these car dealerships be lying to these people when they tell them they ceramic coat their cars or wax them prior to, which a lot of them don't. Now, if you got a real exclusive car, they might, but all dealerships supposed to um, put a wax, uh, coat wax and leather condition your seats before they um, put it on the floor or out on the, um, out on the um, car lot to sell. You see the seat, got stuff stuck in these perforated seats. Kinda hate these perforated seats because this stuff constantly gets stuck in these holes. And sometimes we get a little arduous and a little tedious to get this stuff out. You look on the back of the seats and make sure that we're gonna clean these seats, wipe them down thoroughly. Once again, getting these doors, stuff like that. But I'm not gonna continue running my mouth. This is the only customer for the day, like I said. Uh, don't know what's going on. And it's not really a big deal. You know, like I said, maybe 
this is the opportunity for me to start looking for something else or trying to enhance the business or something like that because I'm not going to stop doing this. I really just want to enhance it, upscale it, get a couple of more vans, get a shop, things like that, and run it like the first person. But what I will start doing is working on my origin story. I'm going to start going to certain locations, showing like how I started and everything like that. And that's going to be a big video. I'll make sure I put a lot of editing into that one. But it's going to be the origin story of how I got into detail because I've been doing this for 10 years now and I need my story to be told. But like I always, man, continue to be great. I'm going to be great. I hope you're great. Hit that subscribe button like bloop, bloop you know, share like comment type you know do what you got to do if you're watching this on your phone go ahead and leave a comment you watching this at home pick up the keyboard come on man help a brother out we're trying to get there we almost to a thousand man we almost there so on that note i'm gonna continue to be great we'd be great together and i'm gonna catch you in a minute Peace. detail world detail world detail world cadillac you know they simple pretty decent it used to have colors in it they used to change it up a few years. They actually had a crescent around it. Remember, it had like the little crescent flowers around it a few years ago. But right now, man, we just finished this first car today and only car today, which is Cadillac Escalade. Car looked amazing. Car came out well. I love that blue on there. It's like a navy blue, cerulean blue. Not cerulean blue, more like a navy blue. Pretty decent. Uh, but we got the car completely done in and out. I don't know what's on her front windshield. I'm definitely going to ask it because it's like some type of film on there like a weird film like like look I look at my finger my finger stuck and I tried to wipe it and wet it it's how it gets stuck on there so I need to ask her what that is maybe she maybe take the car back to the dealership or whatever but we got the car completely done man that was the only one of the day so I'm probably gonna go home clean my personal car or clean my personal van y'all already know man but we already done shit like I said it's a very light week uh, people just getting back in for vacation and stuff like that so all i want you to do today is leave a comment go back watch some old videos you know go check out my other channel at totally on the talk or go check out my other channel at uh around nashville or go check out my other channel at uh truth lounge tv you know we doing it but uh i'm gonna go ahead and go home edit some videos eat some nachos i cooked dinner yesterday some tacos and stuff so gonna finish that up and um, hopefully if the kids want something else to eat I'll probably put a lasagna in the oven but y'all already know man be consistent be persistent be relentless man hit that subscribe button like I said before I'm gonna do what I gotta do so you can do what you gotta do you do what you gotta do so I can do what I gotta do one love can't love yourself I mean you can't love nobody if you don't love yourself remember self love is everything man and on that note like always man peace <laughs>